Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got more comedy for you today. We got Theo Vaughn, the most outrageous things ever <laughs> said out loud. Oh, I can imagine these are going to be good. Yeah, I uh, wanted to come back to some Theo Vaughn after we caught a glimpse of Dana White and Theo, Theo Vaughn. Um, the on Peloton. Their, their podcast. That was pretty funny. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that on the channel, obviously, because we've already seen it. Yeah, I but was um, dying. It was he's pretty. Like, Polly wears his helmet when she rides his wife or his brave wife. I don't know what he said specifically. Yeah, but it was. I uh, died. Some comedic comedic aspects from Theo for sure. So yeah. uh, wanted to come back and check out a little bit more of him. I think we've done one of his on the channel thus far, right? Uh, yeah, we did the one. It was like a compilation, wasn't it, of mm -hmm. his funniest moments or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're looking forward to a little bit more from him here. Not the only comedian we have on the channel. We have tons, 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 and tons of different comedians. So uh, if this if this is your first time on the channel and you like comedy, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and uh, you won't miss anything going forward. We don't drop comedy every day. We drop music, sports, and comedy. So if you enjoy that stuff, entertainment, we'd love to have you in this community yeah. that we built. One hundred thousand subscribers in a year, less than a year. Yeah. So we want you to be Super a part exciting. of that. We're trying to build something special, and uh, we got Theo Vaughn to make it a little more special today. You ready to check it out? I am. Let's do it. He's got this uh, stealth look going on with sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast, wearing wearing sunglasses. I don't know if he's uh, he's on some performance enhancing substances for his comedic routine or what. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> in love with this gal and she was pretty good looking you know i remember i was in love with this gal and she was pretty good looking I, you know she was probably six out of ten which was good for me and she had real soft titty i remember that and i was over at their house one time and we were sitting back by this river they had like a river out back and she uh jo'd me out into the stream you know she gave me a handy you know just a wrist just wristing me out into this little stream and i'd never just you know pervade semen out of my body near a uh, uh anybody else no one had ever else had seen me do this kind of magic this body magic and so next thing you know i ejected out into the stream and these fish swim up and literally just start consuming it. And so I'm like having dreams that I'm gonna have like fish that look like me in our area. So I was always embarrassed to go fishing after that because I think I always felt like somehow they would know. Like somebody would pull a fish out of the water and then the idea would come into their head because the, the, the truth would be in the fish. I remember I used to go sleep at my buddy's house because he got tits uh. kind of first, you know? And he was a bigger boy. But man, I'd sleep over there, dude, and my, Dude, I swear, man, my p gets so hard, bro. Not at him, but at the tits. And I would even put my hands like this. It's cause I, so I wouldn't see the rest of his body. I would just see the breasts. You know, because I wasn't thinking about men. I was just thinking about <laughs> tits. Dude, when I was growing up, we couldn't even get porn. We had to get this dude, Nick, on Friday would draw us a picture of some pussy, you know? A little bit of crotch <laughs> for the weekend. Four dollars to this dude, Nick. Four dollars for drawings? Bro, you'd pay eight. <laughs> and he had a nice fucking thing, bro. And you would fold that thing up, bro. You could feel it heating in your butt pocket the whole way on the bus. Sometimes you'd even was fucking... that good? The pictures were that oh, good? he was so you good. you jerk off this guy's drawings? Oh, everybody would. He must have made probably $60 on a Friday. <laughs> and this was in 1995, you know? Yeah. Dude, I was in Louisville one time. I came out of a show. They had a big group in a limousine. They invited me to go to an after party. He must have made sixty dollars on a Friday. And this is in nineteen ninety-five. You paid four dollars for that? Oh, you would have paid eight. <laughs> oh, that was cool. That was a classic. Fish right that looked like him. <laughs> His stories are outrageous. Yeah, he's literally killing me so far. Paid probably sixty dollars on a Friday. <laughs> And this was in 1995, you know? Yeah. Dude, I was in Louisville one time. I came out of a show. They had a big group in a limousine. They invited me to go to an after party with them, right? I was like, I'm only coming if my boy can come. And I'm like, who's your boy? And I'm like, Le Cedric. They had a brother nearby, right? Wearing this Louis Vuitton jacket, dude. Probably about 60% homeless, right? And they're like, that's your boy? And I didn't even talk to this dude, right? I was like, yeah, that's my boy. And like, all right, he can come. So I fucking walk over to him, look him right in the eyes. And I was like, what's up, man? I'm Theo. He's like, Le Cedric. And uh, <laughs> I was like, all right, dude, I told these people you're my friend. You ever been in a limousine? He's like, nah. -uh. I was like, all right, come get in with us. Just act like you're my friend, right? We're going to a party. He's like, all right, man. So we go in the limo, bro. We're in there, hot chicks, dudes, people fucking. Le Cedric kept saying, we're friends. 
Simmons. That's what he kept saying out loud, right? Kind of fucking not the best actor, bro. But did we get to this house party? It's a nice, cool fucking party, bro. I'm downstairs. I'm in the kitchen. Somebody's making us a drink. I'm talking to somebody. Fucking six minutes later, bro, I hear a fucking somebody scream. I hear a window break, right? Somebody comes running down. They said some dude just stole like four purses out of the coat room upstairs and fucking jumped out a window. That would have been me, Doug. And that was I... fucking LeCedric, bro. Uh, and that was like, but, and everybody there was like crying and pissed. And some girl was like furious because all her tampons were in there or something. I remember she got pissed. She was a tough girl. When I was young, it, they had a rumor if you had on a uh, turtleneck, you was get you were gay or flirting for gay. And I didn't know that shit, man. And I remember a turtleneck truck broke down near our house and somebody robbed it or whatever. And next thing you know, everybody in our neighborhood had turtleneck, <laughs> blue and green. And we wearing them bitches, man. People was cutting the sleeves off them, cutting the turtle off them, cutting the neck off them. People grilling them. Some people thought it was made out of real turtle, made soup out of it. You know, it was a different time. And they had a boy got in. And this boy, maybe 11, 11 or 12, a thicker boy. You know, looked like he was maybe from Nebraska or North Texas. You know, thick, kind of pasty, you know, kind of nice kind of long hair though a little numb in the eyes you know a little polish you know kind of like me i'm a little bit i mean i am polish i'm polish nicaraguan but i'm a little numb in the eyes you know coming in you know i'm coming in at about 70 watt <laughs> and this boy was similar to that he was seemed a little dull you know like like the electrician hadn't visited uh his genetics you know he was just a little bit dim you know like maybe his great grandmother was his also his great great aunt you know or there was some somebody not walked far to fuck at some point in his genetic history there was maybe some light inbreeding or just local seed that had been passed between wombs somewhere along his lineage but anyhow um but anyhow. <laughs> i didn't see anything paranormal i saw a pregnant girl beat up this fucking um this gang this latino gangbanger one time at a car wash and I'll never forget that shit, dude. She picked up a stick off the roadside and beat this dude's ass. Uh, and she was hella pregnant, dude. She was like 11 months pregnant. Dude, when I was young, Jewel was a child person's name. So if somebody said... <laughs> 11 she months, was 11 months, months pregnant. pregnant. He always does that. He seems to tell these stories where you don't know if it's true or not. And yeah. then at the end, he'll throw in something, which is complete bull. Yeah. Then you know like he's just been spouting off bs the whole time <laughs> but it's just crazy to me how his stories like how he comes up with them yeah i know like where his brain goes yeah. to come up with this, come up with this and stuff. it seems like off the cuff like he's just yeah. like this one time i was doing this and this happened and then it was this and then <laughs> i feel like he probably going. pulls from things that have actually happened but just like elaborates and twists them into these like giant elaborate stories like having uh turtleneck soup with your turtlenecks <laughs> Cutting the sleeves off them and the necks and the turtles. Some people thought it was a real turtle. And I just turtles. picture him wearing a turtleneck with the sleeves off. <laughs> it's a little scrawny self. Said, you Jewel? I would be like, no, I'm Theo. And now, yeah, the kids got everything. You know, they got tiramisu flavored watermelon, bro. Dog, when I was doing it, you had to hit that cigarette, baby. Like a damn man. You had, you know what I'm saying? You had to, a smoker had to smoke. And y'all got all kind of flavor. They got lasagna. They got everything, <laughs> man. They got regular mint. They got cement. They got menthol, <laughs> peanut butter, bro. Everything, man. Time where I was so nervous to talk to women. The only thing I could use were like shitty pickup lines, you know, garbage ones. Um, I used to have this one line. In hindsight, this shit is horrible. I was like, uh, let's play Hiroshima. I'll lay on my back and you blow the shit out of me. <laughs> so did you, um, oh, I remember at summer camp, they had this cute girl, right? Oh, I yeah, think she great. was cute. I don't know. She was a female. And she. Sorry, I'm so distracted. I'm still recovering from the last one. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that before. So did you, um, oh, I remember at summer camp, they had this cute girl, right? I yeah. think she was cute. I don't know. She was a female.
<laughs> and she would let us come over and look. Uh, she had like this kind of boyfriend that liked her, and we we're all kind of yeah. jealous. This other camp counselor. Yeah. And sometimes she would let us come over and look down her shirt. And oh he yeah. Would, and he would sit there right by, kind of like oh, a little bit of a cuck thing, little like monitoring. Like you're allowed to come yeah. in and see what's in the shop, you know? Whoa. It was. And he was a counselor. Yeah. Were you a counselor? Were they all counselors? No, I was a kid. <laughs> Wait a minute. So he was a counselor. Was she a counselor? She was a counselor. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. She was a counselor. Yeah. Oh, so it was like, we're going to let the boys look at her tits. Yeah, I think it was just, I don't know if it might have been raining out or something. And there wasn't like anything <laughs> planned or whatever. But Rainy day <laughs> activities. I remember they that we got to go over and like, and one kid, I remember this crazy dude. Yeah. This black kid tried to put his hand in oh, the really? shirt. Yeah. What'd they do? What'd the they guy said, do? No, the guy kind of shut him down. Okay, like, that's no. what he was there for. And then, yeah. And yeah. I was like, oh, this kid knows more than I do, right? Because right. I was like, I went up hands behind my back. Like I was so. Oh, you did? Oh, man. I was like. Because I feel like if my hands, I can't control my hands around a tit. So <laughs> I got to put them. But back there, that's enough control. <laughs> it just gave me a yeah. little bit of leeway. Just where a little bit, yeah. If I felt them coming across yeah, you my hips. Walk away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I get it. I also coach volleyball, and so I changed at school. And so I was changing my classroom for volleyball. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't know if I'm being a pervert or if I'm just being just regular. You know, in Los Angeles, you're not allowed to uh, f- have any interest in women anymore. So, you know, I feel like what we're doing right now is very, it's like almost like prohibition. <laughs> but that I'm secretly having to do this in a studio somewhere on the third floor of a building onward. And I just like left all my clothes on like near my desk. And I obviously like changed into a sports bra. And so I like have to- Oh, man. <laughs> Like, I don't, you ever have like one of your fantasies? You feel like it just called a telephone number? That's what I feel like right now. I mean, this is, this is something, you know, this is a middle school tell, teacher telling me she just changed in her classroom and you got me, you know, you got my wiener starting to loiter around, a, you know, <laughs> around my waistline. You feel me? Homework. How can I say this? Cause I'm not a racist. It's all right if you're a little racist. All right. So how, how can I say this? If I was not to say white people, what's the Caucasians? Caucasians, I think are drug <laughs> or that's drugs. But I think you could say Caucasians. You could say, ca- ca- you could say honkies if you want. I don't know. That sound terrible. That's too much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you trying to get me canceled. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you <laughs> was? Yeah, yeah, was. That was a good one. Yeah. I was thinking about this about the moon landing. Here's one thing that strikes me about the moon landing. For one, I've met Buzz Aldrin and I looked in his eyes and he didn't look to me it didn't look like he had been to the moon and i'm not saying that you know everybody got that special lunar glow in their eye everybody's got that galactic twinkle in one of their fucking face balls if they have been to the moon but he didn't have it for me you know sometimes you meet somebody and it looks like oh yeah it looks like they've been to canada well i looked at (laughs) mr b aldrin the look in his eyes it didn't look like he had been to the moon so anyway i'm i'm angry i guess i am I, i am fucking keyed up today man a lot of shit going on. I'm trying to quit vaping, vaping, vaping. It's vaping, mother So I'm still on that shit, dude. God damn. I'll fucking put my tongue in a in a damn birdhouse, baby, and lick the walls. I don't care. That's just where I'm at today, dude. I'll eat a damn bird's ass, bro. No cap. <laughs> Praise God, man. We're working through it. I have two best friends. What is he talking about? I don't know. Some of Theo's stuff is just so random for me, though. Yeah. Like, he's so contrasted between clever storytelling and jokes, and other ones, I'm like, bro, like, what where are you did you take about? this from? Yeah, yeah. And at first, I was so confused when he was talking about the girl changing in the classroom because I thought he was talking about a student at first. And I was like, why is a student changing in the middle of their classroom for volleyball practice? And what? Yeah. A middle school student? Like, what? I was so confused. But yeah, then. I, I think, again, too, this is a compilation. So there may be. Yeah. You know, context. Previous or aforementioned stuff that he's relating to. Um, and it's also called the most outrageous things ever said out loud. Yeah. So that fits in with what we just heard. Like, yeah. What are you saying? That's pretty outrageous. Yeah. I feel like, though, if you were with him in person, it would be hard to have like a real serious conversation. Oh God, yeah, definitely not. At any point, yeah, because he would just pop in with these random statements yeah. or jokes <laughs> out of nowhere and be, you know, he he reminds me of like certain people that I've been around where, you, you know, no matter what the situation is, there'll be a goofball. Yeah, and that's, still that's like the, they make uh, cracking jokes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Friends, and I think they uh they fell in love with each other and turned gay and uh. 
What do you say? Cat, praise God, man. We're working through it. I have two best friends, and I think they uh, they fell in love with each other and turned gay. And uh, I just don't know how to handle it. They're acting weird. Well, they're not acting weird, brother. They're gay and <laughs> and that's uh that's people are doing it i mean these days you throw a damn frisbee it'll hit a gay dude it's that's how popular it is it's the new you know it's like doing the fries in the free chocolate freezy thing that's remember when that came out that same type of deal you know a lot of hawaiians are low-key filipinos really yeah i didn't know that oh it's <laughs> remarkable man i met so many uh filipinos man they're great huh Oh, I love Filipinos. Fuck, they're good. Well, you know, I pay a lot of do pool. It? They're just friendly people, man. Oh. Real, real friendly people. If I die, or if whenever I die, if I die, <laughs> I am going to, I want the last person I see to be Filipino. Really? <laughs> Easily. Who do you want to see, you think? Why Filipino? you telling me you're dying, right? You're right. like, oh, gosh. And then some guy's are like, hello. <laughs> My name's Joey. My name's Joey's a common Filipino name. Joey, yeah, yeah, or uh, Sunny. They have like kind Sunny? of easy yeah. names, you know. Yeah, friendly names, happy names, yeah, happy, happy names, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. You'd be like, okay. If you rearrange the letters of sister, it spells resist, and that's the truth, boy. So no candles at dinner. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was young, they had this boy in our neighborhood named uh, Thundercat TJ. They call him TJ. I don't know what the J stood for, but the T stood for uh, Thundercat, and they would call him Thunder. And he uh, he was born with some deficiencies. He had hair just growing directly out of his face, you know, like one of those, you know, uh, almost just like the dark arts. It just almost like he was just one of his parents was fucking carpet, you know. He just <laughs> had this kind of wolf boy, sort of wookie kind of thing. Wookie. Just growing directly out of his face, his Chewbacca. hair, and, and that was that was alarming to people. And somebody said that he was going to die, and they somebody said it loud, and I think they said it in church, and so they convinced enough people in our area that he was going to die. So he got to quit school. He is wild man. <laughs> he is certainly is a little bit of an oddball. Yeah, but he's funny nonetheless. I'd say like. I don't think he does any stand-up, though, because I haven't come across that. Yeah, I honestly never even knew who he was. I'd never even heard of him until the first video we did by him. And then I've just heard little and seen little bits from then of his him kind of popping up on like YouTube or whatever. But I haven't watched anything else because mm. I don't want to ruin it for this. But he's funny. Like you said, he's an oddball. Definitely a strange character, but like very quirky and funny in that kind of way. Mm. I agree. And... Uh... You know, I wonder how he kind of came to prevalence in the mainstream because if he's not doing stand up, then, you know, was it off of podcasts and people yeah. start to know him from that? And he's just so outrageous that he just kind of took off and trended on social yeah. media or or what. But he definitely has something that he'll say where it will stick out for you. Yeah. You know, like I definitely am not going to forget the Hiroshima line <laughs> from this one. Oh, my God. Yeah. I feel like I've actually heard that before. That joke? Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, I think that, too, it would be interesting if you guys want to let us know about how he got his start, like you said, because like it feels like he's really popular. Like he's had the opportunity to be on podcasts and meet what seems like to be very prevalent people. So, yeah, uh, clearly, I think he's been around a little while. He's new to me. Uh, I hadn't heard his name where I'd maybe heard some of the other comedians we had done, but never heard their you know, material in yeah. any way. I never heard anything about Theo Vaughn. Um, I think I might have heard that he was on Joe Rogan or something, but I okay. never watched it. Yeah. Anyways, um, mm -hmm. you know, clearly he's he's just out in outer space from yeah. different planet. <laughs> Keeps entertaining. Yeah, I made a nice little Star Wars reference there at the end. Your favorite Star Wars is mm -hmm. is classic for you. It is, yes. Not for me so much. <laughs> yeah, he also seems to have a lot of of jokes about um, kind of what's going on in the world and stuff too. So I feel like there's a lot of like polarity with what he talks about. Like he talks from everything from like partying and craziness to political, social I think that's topics. Because he'll say whatever comes into his yeah, mind. Yeah, that's fair. Just the first thing that pops into his head, he's going to yeah, say. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. 
Anyways, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed our reaction to uh, Theo Vaughn. Uh, obviously, some tears came out for me. Some of those jokes were fantastic. Some of them were a little bit too out there for Random, me. Random, yeah. But I think uh, overall it was great. So if you liked it, hit that like button for us. Hit the comments as well. Hit the subscription notification bell, as I said in the beginning. Yeah. And uh, anything you want to add before we go, Samantha? No, just keep the comedy suggestions coming because I love them. All right, you heard it. Hit those comments, let us know, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.